The giant Lemura jellyfish can weigh up to 200 kilograms and be two meters in diameter. And in large enough numbers, they can devastate a fishing industry. Well, researchers are predicting a mass migration of these creatures from the East China Sea to the west coast of Japan. Dr. Mary Ann Macy went to the Sea of Japan to find out why this phenomenon occurs and if anything can be done to control it. Oceans cover two thirds of our planet. Beneath their surface lives the largest habitat on Earth. It's unique, but often fragile. One of the biggest threats to our marine ecosystems is human activities. There's now little doubt that changes in our ocean are having a profound impact on marine ecology. As many as 30,000 different species of jellyfish are poisoning and eroding the habitats of higher fish species. Now, sumo-sized armies of slime are descending upon the Sea of Japan. It's really the big problem. Uh, the fishermen uh, are crying with this phenomenon. Without bones or brains, these evolutionary marvels have survived for over 600 million years. Now, researchers are hoping to unravel the mysteries behind their invasion. Here, I join Japanese scientists as they explore what's been dubbed the rise of slime. These fishermen know they're about to come face to face with their enemy, the Nomura jellyfish. As the sun rises, so does the tension. They work tirelessly to reel in the nets. Oh, look, there's all jellyfish in the net. It's obvious the jellyfish have returned for the season. Their onslaught threatens the livelihood of fishermen, bringing the industry to its knees. The Namuras are choking marine life, stinging fish with their venomous tentacles. Today, the fishermen tell me they're bracing themselves for the most catastrophic bloom of jellyfish in history. In peak season, around 500 million jellyfish drift through these waters every day. Until 2002, these gentle prehistoric giants were seen in sparse numbers. But the invasion has spiralled out of control. To solve the mystery behind the swarms, scientists must learn more about their behaviour. Government. As fishing boats trawl through blooms of jellyfish, wire grills at the end of the nets slice them into pieces. But the scientists say this might make the problem worse. The female has uh, as many as one billion eggs. Slaughtering the jellyfish will only disperse billions of eggs into the ocean. And when the conditions are right, the numbers explode. Now, there are various theories on what's causing this explosion of jellyfish. Ironically, one of them points the finger back at the fishing industry. We're taking out the small pelagic fish in the oceans. These are things like anchovy and sardine and herring. When we remove them from the ecosystem, we find less predation on the young jellyfish and there's actually more food around for the jellyfish um, to eat and so they increase in numbers. As a result, the ecological switch in parts of our oceans has been flipped. We end up with a system that was dominated at one time by fish, now being dominated by jellyfish. And we're starting to see that in Southeast Asia, the Mediterranean, the Gulf of Mexico and off Southern Africa. Over the past five decades, a staggering 90% of big fish have disappeared from the ocean. Industrialization.